Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to week two. I noticed in a lot of the grading that I did that some people struggled on making a histogram, and it was one of those things where it wasn't as obvious to some. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and make a video for you guys and try to really help you guys see kind of how to do that. Um, this was the first week of our assignments, and I'm always kind of surprised about what we know or do not know or kind of where things are at because every class is different. And currently I'm teaching, I think it's 22 classes currently. Uh, so if I haven't got back to you real fast, I apologize for that, but I'm working to get there. Okay, so like I said before, uh, one of the things they're struggling on is making the histogram. So whenever we have that homework assignments, there's always the first tab, and then there's the second tab with the solutions kind of showing you guys how to do that. Um, I'll go over those in, those video, in the video as well. And I may already have a video on how to do a histogram. I can't really remember because I recorded these lectures about a year or so ago. Um, but your homework actually is the third tab on that. So whenever you're doing something like this, you want to go in there and you want to highlight the areas that you want to have taken care of on the histogram. So we would say here, we want to go data. Let's see. Now we want to go to insert on this. And then we want to do a pivot chart. You can do a pivot chart. You can do uh, all these different types of charts if you'd like. Let's see. This will be a histogram. These will be histograms as well. So if we go in here, say boom, do a series of data. So let me do this one instead because this will make sure because we have this level of data and this level of data. And that's what it's looking for is two of those. So you want to do one of these, you can go boom. Okay, it's not working for me. Let's see, there we go. There's a histogram. So let me show you how I did that because I did that incorrectly a minute ago. As I tend to do on videos for some reason. It seems like if I'm not on a video, then things are so much easier. Uh, <laughs> I say that jokingly, but it does seem like a lot of the times whenever I do a video, it kind of makes things a little bit. Uh, less clear for people. So here we go. We go in here. We click the two columns. We go to insert, and then we go to the thing that looks like a histogram. Click on that. You can do a histogram like that. However you want to do those. And then boom, there's your histogram. So I hope that's easy enough for you guys. But if you have any questions on any of that, or really anything else I've talked to you about in your assignments, please let me know. I'm here to help. Thanks. Have a great day.